Okay, guys, you know all need to hear me out here. Do you like conspiracy theories? If you do, then stick around for this. Grab yourself a cup of tea or a cup of coffee or a drink or whatever and stick around for this. So can everyone remember the who of 2012? How 2012 was meant to be the end of the world? How 2012 was one of the scariest times of my life anyway? I completely and utterly crapped myself in 2012. I honestly God, I thought the world was going to end. We had that movie that come out. You had Stephen Hawkins who just who said that if you find this atom and you do something to this atom we're gonna get sucked into a black hole and the universe as you know it is gonna be destroyed well yeah maybe it did end there, there's a conspiracy theory going around that apparently in 2012 we did actually die and the world did actually come to an end but there's also another conspiracy theory going around how we all got sucked into a black hole and all in we all entered a different dementia now there's also another conspiracy theory about how in 2012 uh 2021 as the ball hit in new york we all got put into a different dimension a parallel universe and all this crazy stuff so today we are going to have a look into this we're going to watch a few videos i've got a few videos that i've managed to find and source together we're going to do a few different reactions and just have a general chat about this if you enjoy this kind of videos though let me know down below on your biggest conspiracy theory that you honestly believe so as everyone heard of the mandela effect everyone should know what the mandela effect is if you don't know what the mandela effect is go and check it out basically it's to do how two different people have a different memory of a different thing so for example the monopoly guy is a, pa a monopoly guy apparently he had one of them i don't know what they call but then one of them eyeglass pieces on so originally he doesn't have one of them but i swear to this day so does my partner so does everyone else you ask he has one of them on if you look at a picture look at this picture right here without him it does not look right another one which i swear to is the pokemon one pikachu doesn't have a black tail but he does okay in my head he does have a black tail he is i've always looked to him with a black tail he just does not look right if i was to draw pikachu i would draw him with a black tail okay and i want to try i want to try this out i want to get someone young so like one of my nieces or something to draw me pikachu and to see if they color in the black tail because i honestly believe the pikachu has a black tail but it he doesn't there's no such there is no such pikachu with a black tail but there is a very very high percentage of people who believes pikachu has the black tail the mandela effect all comes from how a percentage of the people believe that Ma uh, nelson mandela died in prison but actually he didn't he died in i'm pretty sure it was 2013 so you've got the, there's a big gap between when people believed he died and when he actually died. I don't know how this works. <laughs> people are claiming that it's because we, when we switched into a different dimension and when we switched into a different universe, the, like the parallel universe, that everything got switched up and everything, like all our memories got juggled in and we kind of believe stuff that are now no longer exist. Another one is the, is the lollipop, okay? You know when you're a kid and you go, well, you go anywhere and you get the the um the lollipops the ice lollies or whatever you want to call them that have faces on it you get like spongebob one um there's like dora ones and all this kind of stuff so i swear there was a boots one the dora's monkey the boots i swear there was one of them but there wasn't now the manufacturers have actually said we did not make a boots one but why can so many people remember this boots lolly it's weird it is weird the mandela effect is something that really completely blows my mind i've looked into it apparently it's to do with how we have like our memory likes to fill in missing pieces and if our memory is missing something that we just want to want to be there it will have that memory of that thing even if it wasn't true and also another one is if you if you tell someone that it has something we pick it up and we get a memory in our brain that isn't actually true. Our brains are a very crazy thing. Like, our brains are unreal. I cannot comprehend, con I don't understand a brain. This is something I've always been interested in, something I've always wanted to study, but I just do not understand the human brain. So, these, like, the actual conspiracy theory about the Mandela effect is just totally beyond my brain's capacity. I don't understand it. But I have a few videos that we are going to watch and to see and just to speak about it and just to see what everyone's view is on this because 2012 
I remember, like if you type in 2012, end of the world, there is nothing that comes up anymore. You know when 2012 was happening, just before 2012, I remember the date, it was December, just before December 2012, it was everywhere, all over the news, newspaper, there was books about it, there was movies about it, it was everywhere. You type in 2012, end of the world, hardly anything comes up. It's all about the film. Hardly anything about the actual end of the world comes up anymore. Like, why? Where's it all gone? How the hell has it all just disappeared? Where's it all gone? The whole end of the world in 2012 completely not least scared the crap out of me. I couldn't sleep. I lost sleep from it. I, I, I honest to God, I hated, I hated life in 2012 because I thought the world was actually going to end. It didn't end. But has anyone noticed since 2012, we've had some major crazy like world disasters. We've had a COVID, just put COVID to the side a minute. I mean like fires, volcanoes going off, uh, earthquakes going off. We have so, we've had so many different disasters going off since 2012 that before 2012, life is just so peaceful. I don't know whether it's just because I was a kid and like life before 2012 was just like one easy ride or whether I blocked it out or whether it's like actually true that the world just totally shifted and everything has just been different since 2012. So the first video we've got is did the world end in 2012 a Mandela effect theory. So I'm going to be I'm, I'm going to be skipping through this video. It's 10 minutes long. I'm going to just try and cut it down to different parts um, and put certain parts in because if you want to watch the full video of this, the link will be down below. So let's get into this and let's just have a little chat about it as well. I've wanted to talk about this subject for a while now. The other day I had a random urge to look into this again and read some of the old stuff, you know, just for fun. Ever since then, I've noticed other people talking about it again. But the strangest part is, I cannot find anything online about it anymore. See what I mean? Like, you cannot find anything at the moment about 2012. Just type into Google right now, end of the world 2012. You will find hardly anything. You'll find the odd article about what actually happened in 2012 and why all this conspiracy is going around, but you will not find you know, doomsday coming and all that kind of stuff. You will not find anything that got released in 2012. Why? Where's it all gone? Like, it doesn't just, everything just doesn't, everything just doesn't get chucked out the window just because it didn't happen. No, it doesn't work like that. So did the world actually end in 2012? What was the year scientists at Kern had finally found the Higgs boson? You know, the particle Stephen Hawking predicted could destroy the universe? Or in his own words, caused the universe to undergo a catastrophic vacuum Get decay. Sucked into black well, what hole. would happen? Argument that nothing has felt right since 2012. I agree with this. Maybe it has something to do with growing up and getting older, but ever since then it seems like the world descends more and more into chaos each day. Time even feels faster. That is another thing I want to speak to you about. So time in general. Has anyone noticed how time feels so much faster? Now Again, it could just be because I've grown up and I'm an adult and now I realize how fast time actually goes by. But when you're a kid, you don't realize that because you're just living your life as a kid. So as an adult, I, since, since I don't even know when this started, but I'm going to say about 10 years ago. Yeah, around 2012. Actually, it'd be around 2012 now. Yeah, I don't know. But a couple of years ago, I've been saying time has been going so fast time goes so fast right now like seriously the years seems like i feel like we're missing months in a year now i said this in 2012 2020 the whole way through 2020 <laughs> like the whole way through 2020 i've said since day one i feel like we've missed a month i feel like for some reason i feel like we missed september which we didn't, we didn't. I think it was because everyone was in lockdown and because of everything that was going on and no one was actually going back to school and no one was going back to work and all this kind of stuff. You weren't really keeping up with time in 2020 because you had no reason to. We were in lockdown for the whole entire year. But I feel like, and I will say it every single day, I feel like we missed a month in 2020. And it's weird because you don't just miss a month. Like it's not something that you just, it just happens and you, oh, I've missed a month. Like it doesn't happen like that. So it was a very strange one, 2020. And it is, till this day, it will always boggle me how time goes so fast, like so fast. I don't know, it feels like one to two, like that hour, like one o'clock to two o'clock just doesn't exist anymore. It's so weird. Perhaps the universe was destroyed by Kern and our collective consciousness was moved into a parallel universe next door. It would be almost identical. 
In fact, there are people out there who are reporting small differences in this reality and the one they remember before Mandela 2012. Effect. This is a phenomenon often referred to as the Mandela Effect. The name comes from Nelson Mandela, who many believe to have died in a prison in the 80s. However, to many people's surprise, his funeral was national news in 2013, and he had lived a long and happy life. Mandela effects get much creepier though. Some people remember the Statue of Liberty being in a totally different place, that location being Ellis Island. It actually is on Liberty Island. Okay, this one again. So with this, it's possible that Google Maps could have just glitched out, okay? They, I've always thought the, Lib the Liberty st statue, where it's called, is on Liberty Island. That's what I've always thought. That's why it's called Liberty Island. Now, I've never been there. I've never been to New York. I've never seen the Liberty statue in real life, but I used to be fascinated with New York City, and I used to dream about going to see the Statue of Liberty. So... I'm pretty sure it's always been on Liberty Island, but this picture right here, a load of people are circulating this picture and it's like, you know, it's glitched out, where's it gone? It could be Google Maps, okay? Google Maps can, if you go through Google Maps and you actually go around the streets, and you'll see a lot of like glitches out on Google Maps. So yeah, this isn't something that, this is something that could actually just be generally a glitch out on the maps system. The Statue of Liberty's torch is closed to the public. It's been closed for over a hundred years. There's only one problem though, people remember going there. Then there's these pictures. So this one again, this one again, okay. I'm 90% sure, and I will say I'm 90% sure that years ago, I remember seeing a video of someone vlogging in New York City. And that's the time that I was like obsessed with New York. I really wanted to go there. I had my little bedroom decorated out in New York City stuff. And I'm 90% sure I remember seeing a video of someone being there on top of like, on top of the actual torch. I remember thinking, how the hell did they get up there? Like, how did they get up them stairs? Like, where's the elevator to actually go to the top of the actual torch? Like, how does that work? And I, rem I remember that. But apparently you cannot go to the top of the new off off the torch. Like what happened? How? How do people remember these things and not actually like produce like how do these things in our memory but not actually in real life? Like what is going on? I found taken from the torch. But just look at the user's profile pictures. Creepy. Were they time travelers? Describe reality as being like a set of Russian dolls where there are worlds nestled within one another, or like we've talked about simulations within sim. This also reminds me of the turtles all the way down myth. The story that the world sits on the back of a turtle, who's standing on a larger turtle, who's standing on an even larger turtle. You get the idea. But anyways, besides the Mayans, there were some other people who predicted 2012 would be the end. One of- Okay, so- the Mayans, the Mayans are the people who made the Mayan calendar. Now, that's where like the whole prediction of 2012 came from because the Mayans calendar predicted so much. They predicted stuff during World War One and World War II. Um, and when they, when the end of their calendar ended, they predicted that it was the end of the world. That's how people took it. Or it could have meant that we were, it, it was the start of a new world. So if it was the start of a new world, we started a new world in a different dementia, if that makes sense. Either way, that calendar ended. Whether our world was going to blow up and just destroy and we were going to die and there was going to be no world left, or whether it was actually going to be shifted into another dimension, no one knows. But one thing I'd like to say is how ironic is it that 2012 had been predicted that of the end of the world? And since then, it's just been utter chaos. Like, I don't know, like, are we living in a simulation? Is everything around us fake? Or are we literally living in another dementia right now? Like, you wouldn't know about it. No one, the scientists and like, you know, all these big people in the world, they're not gonna tell you about it. They're not gonna be like, oh yeah, by the way, guys, in 2012, we like went through a black hole and shifted into another dementia. They're not gonna tell you about it. Imagine how, imagine how much panic that would put people in. They'd rather keep it under and rather keep it as a conspiracy people. Let let people speak about it. Let people get confused about it and not figure out the truth. Like imagine imagine if they just come out one day and said, Oh yeah, guys, by the way, 
you all did get shifted into another dimension in 2012. Like imagine the panic. No one would be, no one would be right. No one would be right. Nothing's right now, but no one would be right. He made this prediction using his time wave zero formula, which supposedly mathematically decodes the King Wen sequence of the I Ching into something that graphs the fractal patterns of history. The graph culminates in a singularity point of infinite complexity. To better understand, time goes round and round in smaller and smaller loops until eventually it runs out. Is there another meaning to the end of time? Preston That's beat Nicholas that they were never able to time travel past 2012 because they could find no future beyond it. What I find interesting is he did this interview in 2014. Like it's just a very strange thing to say considering you've already made it past the date, right? I guess time travel is just one of the things that you just don't think about because you don't think it's possible. But is it possible? If they can create atoms, if they can create atoms to push together and create a black hole that pushes through, and if that theory is tr true, then why isn't time travel true? Why isn't there... Why haven't anyone discovered time travel yet? Like, surely... Surely it, it's got to exist, right? I, I personally believe that some people, like Elon Musk, that guy scares the crap out of me. That one, that guy is one scary guy. I, I cannot look at him without feeling fear because he is too intelligent for this world. He has been in time and he's seen the future. I'm telling you now, that guy is too, too intelligent for this world. But he's even said, he's even come out and said that this world could be, a, could literally be a simulation. Like, why couldn't it? That's the question. Why couldn't this world be a simulation? We could say that the universe has already ended. The moment it began, the end was set in stone. Perhaps the universe is in a constant cycle of expanding and contracting the Big Bang and the Big Crunch happen. Okay, so I also, I also found these TikToks, um, which I'll share right here. And these also go into 2012 and how we actually died which is hard to believe because they say basically what the tiktok is on about is how we all really died in 2012 and when you die you go into like a seven minute conscious stage where you relive all your memories which is hard to believe because obviously we're still growing we're still adapting we're still you know i i met dan in 2012 and you you meet people and if you were actually reliving your memory then you wouldn't have grown as far as you've actually grown if that makes sense like this one's hard to believe but let's give it a watch anyway everybody died in 2012 and we're all um like we're all sharing a consciousness uh -huh. so we're on a shared consciousness and everybody's dead and they're they're reliving their memories in a dreamlike state so the seven minutes after you die seven minutes your brain is still active for seven minutes uh -huh. yeah the theory is that everybody died in 2012 we're all in a dreamlike state reliving like everything that's going on right now is just fake it's just a memory and you're dreaming it and that's why the Mandela effect is a thing. If you enjoyed that clip, give us a follow, like, and share. That was really hard to believe because if we all did actually die in 2012 and we're all living the same conscious, as I said, it's going to be hard because we're all growing, we're all adapting. You know, I'm getting year, I'm getting older every year and I know that because I, I, I'm getting wrinkles. Like, I got crow's feet, guys. <laughs> I'm joking, but you know what I mean? Like, you're all growing. We're, like, I don't believe that. I believe that we maybe got shifted into a different dementia or, like, the world got transformed into a different universe, but I just, I don't believe that the world ended and we all died. Like, that one's hard to believe. In 2012, like, the whole, if you can remember 2012 and the whole end of the world situation, you'd know that the end of the world wasn't to go into a different dimension. It was nothing to do with going into a black hole. The whole fear of the end of the world was, you know, judgment day and the world was going to corrupt into a load of different natural disasters. We were going to have earthquakes, we were going to have floods, we were going to have volcanoes and all this kind of stuff. If you watch the movie, you'd see what they actually predicted off the end of the world in 2012, all because of the Mayans calendar. Now, they didn't say in the Mayans calendar that we were going to go into a different dimension. They didn't say in the Mayans calendar that the world was going to, we were going to find an atom, destroy this atom and accidentally put us into a black hole and send us off into a different universe. We didn't find, we did, they didn't say that. There was none of that when it was actually being scared. It was nothing to do with that when in 2012. It was all to do with how 
we were all going to die by fires and all this kind of stuff, which since 2012 has have been happening. Like there's been some crazy fires and some weird natural disasters going on, which you can explain because it was not happening as bad as it is. Well, you can because of global warming, but you can't explain as much as what's happened in the past. So when we at 2012, you know, it was nothing to do with the mains. It was nothing to do with how we were going to go into a black hole. There was like one or two little scare fears about that, but it was nothing as much as it was to do with the end of the world and the Mayans calendar. It wasn't until the, the time passed and we were all still here that they come out with, oh yeah, by the way, 2012, we was all meant to die because if we found this atom and we destroyed the atom, then we'd all get destroyed into a black hole, which they did actually find the atom. They did collide them. Apparently it was all safe and nothing happened. But are they lying to us? You don't know, certain lies and you, they, they are one dodgy company. They are one messed up dodgy company. You don't know what to believe. I don't know what to believe. For everything we've been experiencing in life has been happening since 2012, but everyone is catching on in 2020. So in 2020, going into 2021, the ball drop, I'm pretty sure it was 2021, it happened. On going into 2022 i don't know the ball dropped and it was like a minute late which has never happened before and some people are saying you know when that ball dropped we got switched back into another dementia like who knows the truth i don't know the truth but in 2020 2020 i'm telling you we missed a month i am telling you now we missed a month but everyone's kind of like catching on to the mandela effect now the mandela effect has been going on since before 2020 so being able to switch dimension in 2020 is unbelievable like we i feel like we definitely switched in 2012 rather than 2020 that's more realistic than 2020 like a lot of things happened in 2020 don't be wrong it was one crazy year but we were also all we were in lockdown okay we had time to think about these things we had time to go through these things a lot of crazy stuff did happen in 2020 i will admit um there was people coming out as time travelers there's people coming out as like glitches in the in the matrix and all this kind of stuff there was loads of viral things going around but we also had a lot of time in our hands to do these things and look into these things i heard a mandela effect way before 2020 so the Mandela effect definitely come around way before 2020. But there was also a thing where if you ask Siri, when is 2021? They It would tell you like a countdown that was like five days away, but it was already five days into 2021. It's nine hours until then. It's Thursday, the 12th of May, 2022. It was 12 hours ago. It was 12 hours ago. So that theory, a military, the military time is something like that is 2021. So when you ask Siri that, it will, it won't, it'll tell you the military's time rather than the actual year, if that makes sense. And if you ask Google, it'd also do the same, but it's because it's a military sign rather than an actual normal sign. Now there is another calendar that people, like all around the world, loads of people go on loads of different calendars. So there's another theory going around that 2012 actually hasn't happened yet because we are meant to celebrate a totally different calendar to what we actually celebrate now and it's like a totally different different level. They celebrate like 13 months in a year and they're still in 2014 at the moment when we're in 2022. So if you put two and two together, they're, they're, they're the real 2012, the Mayans 2012 and the real calendar 2012 actually hasn't happened yet because we're like loads of years in advance. I don't know, my mind is completely boggled. I've enjoyed speaking about this theory. If you do, please let me know down below everything, what you think about this theory. I'm gonna go now because my mind is just too bottled. If you do want a part two of this, send me some videos or send me some other theories that we can speak about, then we'll speak about it. I just wanna start doing little videos where I just chill with you, speak up to you. I, I love conspiracy theories. I love getting drawn into them. I literally spent all night last night watching these conspiracy theories about 2012 and how we got shifted into a different dimension and all this kind of stuff. I, I, a part of me believes it. 90% of me believes it, 10% believes this, it's just a theory, but no one can explain life, no one can explain how we live a life, so 
who knows? Who knows? That's all I'm gonna say is who knows because we could be, we could be an NCP. We could be living in a video game and we are literally, you know, them people who just walk around and have no clue what's going on. We could be them people. That's just adapted over time to be able to do these things. We could be controlled right now by a player. We could be, you know, living in a, living in a little pod. Our bodies could be in our pods, but our mind is here on earth. No one knows life. No one knows. Everyone's got different theories about how life was made as well. We came from germs, we came from fish, we came from God, we came from a big bang, we came from nothing, you know, Adam and Eve and all this kind of crazy stuff. Everyone has their own theory about it. I'm not saying you're wrong and I'm not saying you're right. I don't know where we came from. I really don't know. And I, I, I want to explore it. Don't get me wrong, I want to explore it. But there's so many different theories about life that you could be here forever, like the Matrix, you know, the, what's all that about? We, we're coded. How? Okay, guys, I know end this video. Give me some, speak to me down below. Speak to me down below. Give me your opinions on this. Let me know what you think down below. I'll see you in the next video. It's been your girl. Peace. Bye, guys.